All right, good evening, guys. Kenneth Tortoise Capital, Nightly Strategy Podcast for December 15th, 2023. Start with a hybrid swing. So sanity returned to the markets today and um, saw a lot of profit-taking and capital preservation for the weekend. Um, starting, as always, with Alcoa on 30-minute charts. Uh, so our three position long peaked today, rolled over. When the R10 rolls over, take the exit at the edge of the dragon. And you count them up. That's about 30 R. AI, uh, yesterday's caught a two. Uh, gets six R, exits at the peak. Amazon, an R. Caterpillar, three positions long. Uh, it peaks here today. We take the exit at the edge of the dragon. That's a very good discipline. This one was uh, interesting. So yesterday that we had a fractional in Cliff, that peaked early. I missed the early morning move. I took the one two three entry after across the VWAP and touch the dragon skin, standard risk, 4R, wanting no overnight positions uh, on the short side. Chevron, 1, 2, 3 long for 2R. Disney, no trade, dish. Uh, no, yeah, dish, no trade. Um, took the long position in Devon. Um, speculating on this one because the energy sector had been slaughtered this week but Devon was a little bit stronger and um, and so I'm betting on a value play here this is about 1R starting with a dragon skin entry midday and that's the case where we have a sharp move down and I'm taking the dragon skin entry in the same location where if I had been short this is where I would cover the short so I'm experimenting with this idea um, after the R10 peaks and I've got a rising river, then I'm trying to front run the uh, the Kata 2. So we'll see how that works out. Electronic Arts, 4R, holding that one over the weekend. Emerging Markets, 1R on a Collapsing Dragon. Ethereum was shortable today if you were in the currency. Mexico, uh, another big massive win on three positions. It peaked. I couldn't wait to get out of that one. Happy to do so. Again, about 30R. Brazil, actually got a short on a collapsing dragon. This has been consistently weaker than Mexico. Like the rollover on that one happened yesterday. So this was just a continuation short for an R. Intel, fractional. IP, 1R, Collapsing Dragon. Real Estate, 1R, Collapsing Dragon. None of these am I holding it over the weekend. Coca-Cola was the interesting one today. It bottomed out. It gave me a cot of two for a fraction. And then I speculated into a Collapsing Dragon, front running it a little bit, and took the Dragon Skin exit for an R. Regional Banks, 1R, short. Mattel, Scratch, McDonald's, uh, 1R on the Collapsing Dragon, Merck, uh, 2R on a 1-2-3 entry and a Dragon Skin exit, Microsoft, 1R on a um, uh, SSC with a delayed entry uh, after it had cleared the PSAR and crossed the VWAP, finally held my nose and bought it. Uh, marijuana, Scratch, NVIDIA, 1R on a emerging dragon, clean energy, one uh, R on a collapsing dragon, Rivian. We closed the two position long for about 15 R after the peak and a dragon skin exit. Um, the S and P, you can see the uh, second day of weakness. This was half a day of weakness yesterday, and now the second day of weakness after this beautiful run up, and then the Fed, the Fed explosion. 
uh, treasuries stabilized tesla no trade walmart no trade although the this looks uh pretty good if i was gonna regret one that i did not speculate on it would probably be this one i think this holds some possibilities for monday and then u.s steel uh emerging dragon and an intraday cut of two just for a scratch Um, let's see, where's my, beauty sniper trade of the day. Okay, so, uh, this is the sniper trade of the day. This is Alcoa. This is three minutes. It was in play. There's the OR3. I wait for the PSAR flip, get a standard risk box. And this is starting to be a Kata 2, so I put the second position on, but instead it rolls over, crosses through the, uh, the PSAR, so I exit. So this one is minus 1, this one is 1, 2, 3, plus 3, so this one that's plus 2. Then it does not fail. And the Bollinger Band main just keeps cruising higher. So we get a Kata 2 re-entry. This is a 1, 2, 3, almost a 4R battle drill. And then exit after the peak comes down. And I'm front running that a little bit. So the first position gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6R. This one gets 1, 2R, so that's plus 8 and net for the day on that one plus 10. There was more room in here today, but I would run out of willpower by that time. Uh, for the traders today, uh, Kevin does a nice job here um, holding, he gets an entry here on this reversal with his wrist box down here. And finally, not shaken out of a position. Second position, now he's got two pieces of skin in the game and he nets 1.5 and 0.6 for 2.1 for that. And then picks up another 0.4 for a total of 2.5. He does not get out in the noise. Thank you. In uh, Brazil, he misses the, um, but notices. See, when you get this first sharp down and then sideways chop and then it continues to fail and it turns to winter, that's a pretty good short. And it's below the VWAP, that's a pretty good short. But he does get this one, um, does not preserve, does not, I think you gotta get out somewhere in this region because you've let a winning trade go to zero and it's approaching the VWAP. So I think that's a little bit late and that was discretionary, that doesn't help. He does get short here and picks up a fraction. It nets him uh, at a wash for the day. Uh, George goes for an OR3 long uh, a loss of 1.1. 1. 1. Um, we could be short here. It waits for this. It reverses 1.1. 1. 1. Um, this is the peak of the RL10. So maybe we're a bar slow. I don't know. That's still pretty good. Gets that one. Gets that one. Gets 2.8. So he nets uh, 0.6 for the day. So that's still a good day at work. We'll take that. Now uh, head to the reports. Another 
15 hour day in the academic conference today. Brutal. Trading from my phone. Bullish normal. Long term overbought. Gave a little bit back these last two days. Still favorable on the risk Z, which is now underneath one. So we're back into risk on and uh, normal relative volatility is normal. Bullish strong on the market condition. 100% invested in ETF2. The winners are continuing to win. Uh, for the month of December, crushing it. Uh, look at some market conditions here in the RLFF. The health of the market, the RL30, is long and strong. The RL10 just crossed back above it. So that's signaling the next leg up. The 90 is moving. The 270 is moving. All of that is good, and we've cleared the last hump in this congestion. That was the test. It did not fail. It's going up with a strong signal from the Fed. Uh, the three period, the three day is looking strong. Again, it has cleared this. The nine day has cleared its peak. That's a really strong vote up. And that goes all the way back to here. just a, a tactical give back today. I still like that stop at 466. Very low range day today. Uh, blended monthly rebalancings. Real estate, big recovery. Small caps, and even more important recovery as the strength in the U.S. economy begins to spread out from the large caps to the mids and the smalls now. That's good. Yeah, so the mid caps were strong here too. Tech leading the way, that's what you want to see for sustainable gains. Uh, and even the treasuries had an amazing run. In the Dow 30, old school large caps, Intel and Boeing. Goldman and Home Depot. American Express, finance anyone. Caterpillar, America. Walgreens. Um, the interesting ones are the dogs that did not bark. Microsoft, United Health and Verizon, Proctor. This is the one that really strikes me as odd. So we got to watch that one as being on sale. And Walmart, I still think, is on deep sale at 10% down for the month. I think that's still the hidden value play. That one in Microsoft. In the regional report, all of the U.S. is above um, China lagging. Taiwan, South Korea, India doing pretty well. Mexico great and better than Brazil. 
tech is leading in the globals. Commodities and oils just getting smashed. Hedge funds doing okay. Inside the sectors, it's only tech. A little bit of discretionary, that includes Tesla. Finance and industrials, that's your Caterpillars, Goldman's. The usual suspects. Now, this is one that will surprise you, unless you've been paying attention. The NASDAQ has an ATR percentage of 1.19. Treasuries at 1.4. Treasuries are more volatile than NASDAQ technology and more volatile than the S&P tech. That is, tech is such a low risk idea. Diamonds at 0.72. That's how, that's how stable the Dow has been and it's at an all time high. How do you not love DIA? Okay, to the daily. Go right to the dashboard. Yeah, we've seen that already. Uh, and the Dow today. Some big breakouts in Boeing and CAT. Home Depot. JP Morgan. Nucor Steel and NVIDIA. The only breakdown, um, Proctor. And only a handful of auto framed trades. Nobody's taken the vaccine. Pfizer, Proctor, United Health. Nobody believes them anymore. In the ETFs, only uh, Treasuries had big breakouts today, as today was a give back and a consolidation kind of a day. Handful of uh, auto framers. Just a few squeezes. Whoops, sorry. A few squeezes. Exxon Mobil, Disney, and Tesla on a squeeze. Gotta love that breakout ready for next week. S&P is uh, one of the best reward to risk ratios. Everything else is all, is basically fully valued. Marijuana is still lagging a little bit. Fall and summer equally split. You can see some of the creeping weakness here. Procter, Coke, McDonald's, Merck. Some value plays there. And then the top 10 value, trading value plays. Marijuana, Tesla, NVIDIA, Clean Energy, Devon, Intel. This is still a bit of a concern. It's crossed its own 10 period move and average this slope of the RL30 it's still more than one SD above average so this is still slightly exposed has a long way to run this is still not free and clear yet we'll see next week this was the first sign of weakness a little little doji at the top of a beautiful organized brilliant run now on the most important chart we show the RL 30 the health of the trend has come down and met the rising 10 so that feels like a a meeting engagement is it gonna 
continue into strength or continue to recover. The RL90 is pretty satisfied where it is and would look at this and say, that's just a tactical play the first couple days of indecision for next week. So I'm going to be really interested in seeing what that little dragon serpent head looks like. What's it going to do? Critical state. That's what we got there. All right, fellas, that's all we got for today. Um, we got, uh, Sunday is a couple more um, research 2023 presentations, some good ones coming up. And uh, there's still, there's always time to, to join that one. The uh, It's going to be available as a home study course. Um, we've got uh, well over 100 hours of extra research material from me and from previous uh, previous years as well as the 15 or 16 presenters um, that are working through their material this year so still still time to join all right that's everything i got here we'll get this published and posted and you guys have a good weekend